In this video, we will take a look at how to extract or generate list of sheet names in an Excel workbook without any VBA code or macros. We are going to use formula to do that. So let's head over to my laptop. In this file, I have 25 sheets. You can see them and I want to extract the name of those sheets in this column. That's two without using VBA code or macro. I am going to use this formula. That's a XML formula, which we can use. So let's see how to do that. We can use this formula in name range. So let's copy this formula. Go to name manager for that. Go to formulas tab. Let's click on name manager. It will open name manager. Click on new. And here give a name to this name range, which we are going to create. Let's call it sheet names array. Let's go to refers tab, delete whatever is there and paste the formula, which we have copied. Click on OK. Our user defined name range is ready where we have pasted the formula XML formula. Now let's see how to use this formula. Before that, I will write down the serial numbers for my sheets. So I have taken few serial numbers. So we are going to use index function. Before I move ahead with the next step, if you are new on my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. For that, let's go to bottom of this video and you can see subscribe button here. Click on the subscribe button and also click on this bell icon. Also, do not forget to like this video and share it with your friends. That will motivate us to keep producing such useful videos on our channel. Is equal to index. And for the array, we are going to use the user defined name range, which we have created. To use that, press F3. This is the name range which we have created. Here you will be able to see all the list of name ranges you have created in this file. This is the one I had created. I will click on OK to use this in index function. For row number argument, I will refer to this serial number. That means I want sheet name of this position in this file. That means I want the name of the sheet which is on first position. Let's close this formula and hit enter. And boom, you can see the name of the sheet at this position that the first sheet is sheet one. If you drag this formula to down, you will be able to see the sheet names for all of those index numbers. But here it says hash reference because we don't have sheet at that index. That means at that position, we don't have those many sheets. So I will add if error function here. If error, if this formula returns me any type of error, then I want to replace that error with blank text and fill it down. And boom, you can see all the sheet names are available here using simple formula instead of writing those multiple line of VPA code. That's pretty much easy and useful. I hope you like this video, show your support, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends. Thank you.